all right welcome back now this uh we've done in our beginners edition of solidworks but i'll go through this uh, real quick just to show you i can change different colors for different uh, uh features over here uh, using my uh color or appearance feature so go ahead and click on this feature for example and go ahead and click on the appearance now you have the option to change it in a bunch of different ways you can change the face just the face of this feature you can change the body which the body means this entire body of the entire, um, not just the body of the feature, but the body of your entire part. Or you can just, ch uh, you know, change the mirror. Okay, now this uh, exercise or the, 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 sorry, the mirror, the mirror vase handle about a right plane is the name of your exercise. And I remember I've saved my exercises. Every section I save my exercise so you can continue on using that portion of the exercise okay so it's a really nice way to keep following me every exercise at a time in case you get stuck learning how to do one of the features so if you go back and click on this click on appearance so you can either change this entire part you can change the body color you can change just the sweep color or just the face of that part okay for example for this one i'm going to change the sweep color to red okay so I just want to change this one to red. And if we actually zoom in over here, you're going to notice that the inside is still gray because I only changed the sweep feature to red, not the inside of my part. OK, so I'm going to let's go ahead and do this exact same thing to the left side of the handle. And as you can see over here, it doesn't say sweep. It says mirror. It's because that's what we've created. This is a mirror of this side. If you actually change things on this side it will mirror and copy it on this side as well so you want to make sure that you click on mirror this time and then click on red okay and as you can see it changes it to red color go ahead and click on okay and lastly i want to make sure that the entire vase over here is light blue so you can click on that click on the appearance okay and now for this one i'm going to change this the mirror or the the part name it can be a different part name for you click on it and go ahead and click on light blue because I've already colored my features. The body is supposed to, or the entire part is supposed to be colored. So for example, this entire part is supposed to be light blue right now, but because I colored these first, this, these override. So the feature coloring overrides the main body coloring or the entire part coloring, and they will stay the same. So as you can see, I want to color it light blue, just like you saw in our exercise two preview. And everything on the inside, outside, the fillets, everything is light blue, even the features that I did not color. For example, the sweep cut, because I did not color that one. I only colored the sweeps and the mirror. And so individual features always override the entire part color, but you have to do them first. If you color the entire part blue and then you try to color the feature something else, they will be overrided by this by the first thing that you color. So you want to make sure that your features are colored before you color your entire body if that's what you want to do. So there you go. This concludes our exercise number two for and that's how you create a base. So you've learned a bunch of new things over here. You've learned how to use a loft using a, a sketches on four different planes. You've learned how to use the shell feature, the face fillets. OK, we've created another plane that we've used to create both a sweep boss and a sweep cut. We learned how to mirror this handle to the right side over here, over here, and we've learned how to create different colors uh, on different parts of the vase.